Welcome to GRE Physics, taught by two students. This is Rev from Ivory Brown. And this is Taborto from NYU. And right, can you consider a second? Mm -hmm. Can you consider a rope? Rope has no mass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you consider a box? Mm -hmm. Right? And then box is, uh, let's say, M, right? And then you have another rope, right? And then you consider a box, how much? 2M. You want a 2M? Sure. And then you have another rope. You, can you give a mass? 3M. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, 3M. And what do you have? Tension, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you want to call it tension force? Yeah. And then you you want to call it T1, T1 maybe? maybe? Sure, sure, T1. And this one? T2. T2. And this one? T3. T3. All right, well, what are you going to prove that um, T1, is greater, T1 is greater than T2 is greater than T3? All right. right. So this rope has to carry everything from the top down. So that includes this mass, this mass, and this mass. It's not like this just pulls itself. So we have T1 has to be pulling up mg, 2mg, and 3mg. Meanwhile, T2 only has to be pulling up everything below it. So T2 only has to be 2mg plus 3mg. And similarly, T3 only has to pull everything below it. So that's just going to be 3mg. So even without adding them up, we get 6, 5, and then 3. You can see pretty easily that T3 is the smallest, T2 is next, and T1 is at the top. To show that the tension in the first rope is greater than the tension in the second rope is greater than the tension in the third rope. How do we do that? Well, ropes can only pull, they can't push. So a rope doesn't know anything that's above it. It only knows what it has to pull that's below it. So for example, the first rope, T1, what it's really thinking is it has to pull all three of these masses. So effectively, it has to carry a weight mass of m plus 2m plus 3m, 6m. The second rope, it doesn't know that there's m above it. It only knows that it has to pull 2m plus 3m. So the second rope only knows that it has to pull 5m mass. And the third rope, T3, only knows what's below it, right? So T3 only knows that it has to pull 3m, okay? So T3 only has to handle this weight, T2 only has to handle this weight, and T1 has to handle this weight. So if you look at it, T1 has to handle the most amount of weight, 6m. Uh, T2 has to handle 5m, T3 has to handle only 3m. That's why the tension in the first rope has to be bigger than the tension in the second rope, has to be bigger than the tension in the third rope. If you liked my approach better, vote for NYU. And folks, if you like my approach better, vote for Brown.